Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I have for you wildflower confections. What is that you might ask? Stay tuned to find out. Who doesn't like chocolates? Okay, for a few people between. I actually know a couple. But if you love chocolates, give this video a thumbs up because today we are going to be unboxing a chocolate truffle subscription. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and I unbox all things subscriptions from men's, women's, kids, books, food, clothing, toys, games, you name it, I unbox it. And if I haven't, then I probably will be soon. We are gearing up for a 100 subscriber giveaway. So if you are watching this and you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the little bell notification and comment down below what your favorite chocolate is. Whether it's a chocolate bar or a style of chocolate. I love salted caramel and chocolate truffles so delicious. So a little bit about wildflower confections. They have their normal like year round truffles and then they have specialty seasonal truffles that they you know let out each month for different seasons. This box will include some of their regulars and some of their seasonal subscription or some of their seasonal truffles. Their truffles are made with no corn star corn starch, corn syrup, um, no fillers, and no preservatives. You can get their boxes monthly, four times a year, or three times a year, depending on your desire for chocolates. They also have a different sizes. So the small is $21.95, the medium is a 16 piece for $43.95. And the grand is a 25 piece for $59.95. The shipping is included, so you're not paying for shipping. And here's our box. How cute is that? The wrapping paper does remind me more of spring than fall, but it is pretty darn cute. The birds actually match like the sticker in, as far as like the color goes. So let's open her up. Under that, we have another layer of tissue paper. This is like a unwrapping a gift. Ooh, those look delicious. Okay, some of them have gotten rolled over in transportation. But take a look at that. So here they are. I'm going to try not to drop them out. We are going to look at some of them. I was kind of hoping, you know how sometimes the... I guess commercialized boxes come with a label of what they are. I was kind of hoping to have a piece of paper in here to tell me what the different flavors are, but that is not so. But but they don't have one in here. You're just going to have to sample a few and find out. So let me show you a couple of them. They have two that are similar to this one. And it is shaped like a little coffee cup. Can you see that little handle there on him? It's like a little coffee cup with a little coffee bean on top. And then there's another guy that this one's a milk chocolate, a little bit lighter. And has, looks like almost like a cream and cinnamon. So this one looks almost like a cappuccino type of thing. And the other one looks more like a coffee. One thing I did forget to mention is you can choose if you want all dark chocolate, if you want all milk chocolate, or if you want a mixture of both. And this one is a mixture of both dark and milk chocolate. Personally, I like both. I am not picky when it comes to, well, I'm picky about my brands of chocolate. Hershey's, not a big fan. But I'm not picky as far as when it comes to milk to dark. I will eat everything in between. Not a huge fan of white chocolate though. 
Yeah, not a big fan of that. But anything from milk to dark, I will eat it. We have two we have two heart-shaped ones and they both look like they have caramel and nuts in the middle. This one's a dark chocolate and this one's milk chocolate. Then we have two flower-shaped ones, again a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate, and these two look like sunflowers. The last of our like fun shapes, we have two maple leaves, again a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. And that's what they look like. We have three of these dome-shaped ones that have little dots on the top. One dark chocolate, two milk chocolates. And then we have some square ones like this. A milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. We have two domed ones. This one is dark chocolate with a milk chocolate stripe. And then we have a milk chocolate with dark chocolate stripes. So, and then the center is just all round shapes. Oh, hey, hold on a minute. I just found a little piece of paper. Okay, so in here was a teeny tiny little piece of paper folded up in one of the little chocolate squares. And it identifies the candies. Okay, so the coffee cup with the bean on top is espresso. The other coffee cup is eggnog. The heart ones are peanut butter. Yum. I'm going to start off with a maple bacon because I love maple bacon. I actually made a fudge two years ago that was a maple bacon fudge for Christmas and it was so delicious. So delicious. Mm. That's good. You definitely get a smoky flavor in it, but it's not overwhelming at all. And this little guy here. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't look at what it was before I bit into it, but I think that's the pomegranate one. You bite in and it's like lightly tart and sweet. And, yeah, I think that's the pomegranate one. It is delicious. I'm going to try not to eat too many more of these um, and save them for when my husband gets home. But these are delicious. This is a wonderful subscription, especially for you chocolate lovers out there, to get a wonderful box of chocolates. The chocolate is so good. It's not like the um, chocolate that you'd get around Valentine's Day in the hearts at the store. It's not like a waxy. It's not, you know, like that cheap chocolate is very watered down chocolate. Like it doesn't have a very strong flavor. These are amazing. The chocolate flavors there, um, the flavor in the fillings is amazing and just they're smooth and creamy and delicious. So if you are interested in that, check them out. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. After I stopped filming, I just had to try another one. And so I picked up the sunflower and bit into it. It is salted caramel. Oh my goodness. This caramel just like dissolves in your mouth and melts in your mouth. But before it does, it just fills your mouth with this caramel salted goodness. It's not like one of those truffles that you bite and it just like stretches caramel everywhere and then you get it a mess everywhere. It stays pretty intact, but it's soft. It's rich. It's delicious. This is so far my favorite out of the ones that I've eaten, although I've only had three of them, so I haven't had very many, but so far my favorite. I think I could order a whole entire box of these. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Bye.